Evening guys, before well, I start the vlog, a bit of a vlog. Um, it's about the top of the night, I've just tired, got a bit of food to eat. Um, so if I'm in this room, you probably aren't aware of what's happened. So, last Friday, I've been off since last Friday actually, um, I had a bit of a bike crash. Um, no major injuries, got a couple of quite nasty cuts. Um, mainly on my left hand side, which so happens to be the side of which the clutch and the gear stick are on. Uh, we're heading over to Sweden, as you probably are aware. Um, we've got a load of motor oil. Spoken to Scania, what they're going to do is they're going to fit in an automatic Optitrude uh, 12 speed auto gearbox into it, but we're not getting rid of manual tracks. Uh, in fact, we've actually bought a couple new manual trucks, one of them being an MAN, one of them being a Scania, and we've got a couple new Volvos potentially joining the fleet. Um, so, the work with DSV's got cancelled. Um, not by DSV themselves, but by their customer, so we're not doing that job now but we've got another H, what we call a HS job um, which unfortunately I can't film but that's only a one a one one run job and then after that I will stop I'll pick up filming uh, you might want to have a guess at what we're hauling because it's nothing exciting it's um, I've got another a few runs of uh, what we call EPs. Um, yeah, empty pallets will be hauling again as well. Um, I'll, be, I'll be, I'll have a different trailer on the back to what I normally bob around with me. I'll be in, a, I'll have a Corona trailer, and I won't even be in my own truck, which I'm not looking forward to. Unfortunately, my truck will be in for inspection, so I will be. I either in the DAF, drive eco. I know I said I won't normally drive our ecos, or the Renault. Uh, depending on where we're going, if if it's going to be abandoned bound, then it'll probably be the Renault because both the DAF and the IV are both manuals. And you're probably thinking, why have I even got an IV in the fleet? Well, the IV is um our yard chanter. So we just shouldn't send two trailers over the uh, yard and for inspections. That's all that does. So it's got about five kilometres on the clock total. So it's uh, not used very often, put it that way. Uh, it's only a day cab, uh, middle left one. Uh, if you've been filming this, you'll obviously you'll know about the bike crash. Uh, plan for tomorrow, I've actually got quite a fun day, I'm not going to risk my knee too much but I'll do what I can with it, I can bend it now, because um, all day Friday and most of Saturday I was just lying on my bed because every time I moved it was painful, um, got a little bit of rewiring re to do, might get a little bit of polish on my desk, uh, what else have I got to do? Just a few little organising all. I can't talk. Bits of organisation to do. Um, there's some books here which I need to transfer to over there somehow. Not sure how yet. Um, what else do I need to do? Awesome. Oh yeah, I made more books here by the way. On the shelf actually. It's just like the... Lean in a little bit, as you might be able to see. Uh, which is probably not a good train. Most of the moulds go in now as well, which is a good train. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in probably about 15 or 16 hours time for me. But for you, it'll probably be about 2 milliseconds. So, I'll see you all in the morning.
Morning guys, you joined me about 17 hours later from where I last left you. Um, I am in some pain this morning. Uh, my knees just felt like it's been on fire. So, I've been in pain. Uh, plan for today. Um, I went over most of it last night. Did some rewiring. Um, it just generally just a bit more, bit more organisation. Um, I worked a couple of projects as well today. Um, and my logbooks and everything I meant to put onto Excel and get that all done today. So, quite a busy day. Uh, I don't know whether I can access the OneDrive on my laptop, but some of them that. Yeah, I've got a top one at the moment, but yeah, I've been in pain. Um, I just want to give um, a massive shout to Adam the Driver um, on Instagram. I'll leave a link to uh, his Instagram in the comments section. And uh, also, I'm Adam. Um, thank you, both of you, for. Uh, the support as well as J Track Photography and uh, J8 Phil BTC as well as everyone else that knew that follows me on Instagram. It's um, yeah, just thank you all for the support. It really helps at the moment, especially when you uh, can barely move. Alright, OneDrive. Uh, hmm, interesting. Right, I need to work out how the heck am I going to... I'll figure it out. Right, what I'll do, guys, is I need to have a shower at some point. Well, I say a shower. I had a bath yesterday. I need to um, get into the bathroom at some point. Uh, while, while I wait for that, I need to work out how to send over um, Excel from my phone to my laptop so I can transfer all the paperwork that's paperback at the moment just so then we've got a, what we call it, an EC or an e-copy of it so then obviously if something drastic were to happen and I forgot the paperwork or lost the paperwork I can always access it on my phone so yeah I'll talk to you guys in a bit Okay, um, small change of plan. I'm doing another job that I'm going to do right now. Bob one small area for which I need to miss. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll swim in the back lawn, the uh, garden, actually. Fed uh, high trust this morning. It's, it's gone down now, believe it or not. Um, and it's defrosted enough that I can mow it and it's dry. So, before I get out of hand, I'll set you guys up for an epic time lapse and then move the lawn. Well, I grab a phone actually, it's just in case. I'll leave one here, just in case it rings. Anyway, guys, do the time lapse, do it all in a bit. Right, that's it, it work, guys. Set you guys up somewhere and then. I've just hyperlapsed you from here. Try and see. Yeah, still recording. <laughs> right, do it sound like skies. See you all in a bit.
was pressing up. Give you a quick uh, as as compared to before when I was walking out here earlier. It's just so much better. See you guys at run front somewhere. Uh got a bottle at run front today. So I'll talk to you shortly. Okay, right, I'll take it a bit lower. Enjoy the time lapse. Well, you know what guys? Stay quite busy on front. I was gonna see you guys up in one plus spot, leave you guys there. I have so much because I've got quite a bit to do still. So I'll get what I can for you. See you all in a bit. Okay guys, so I don't know what happened there, but the camera's turned itself off, I didn't realise. Um, I'm going to get cleared up, I'll put you all in about 5-10 minutes. Put you all in a bit. Okay, just finished mowing the lawns. Uh, I'm going to make myself a quick bite to eat. Uh, yeah, I'll leave you guys in peace for about 2 milliseconds, but for me it'll be about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Uh, still hobbling all over the place, still sore, but other than that I'm doing okay. Uh, thank you to everyone again for all the support and the uh, well wishes that I have received. Uh, really just mean a lot. Anyway, I will talk to you all in a bit. Okay, right, I am back. Uh, went out on a walk, uh, just got back in. I found a weird drink, but it's quite nice. Um, yeah. It's uh, a bubblegum fizzy drink in it. Honestly, it is more blue than blue water. Quite nice, though. Right? Anyway, I'm going to crack on. Phone's in charge, where the camera is. Um, yeah, so plan for this afternoon, uh, it's quarter to three as of right now. Uh, I'm just going to crack on, get the stuff put away eventually. Um, my hand's still sore. Now, when I was setting up uh, the lawnmower earlier in the video, you uh, probably wouldn't have seen because of where you guys were, but the mower actually whacks me on my bad knee, big time on my bad knee, and it was incredibly painful. And uh, what made it worse? What made it worse was it was right on the cut itself. So, uh, yeah, it was absolutely agony for a while. So, uh, yeah, that's 
why I might end up having to put the shorts on because I need to like like air uh, get to it a bit more easily. I hate wearing shorts but I might have to wear some and soon get warm here, which is why my window is open. Hence why I haven't been driving because well hopefully next week I should be back out on the road. It's uh I think it takes a day for us to get over to Sweden. Yeah. Well I think it's a further hour from where we from where I'm playing from where we me and both my colleagues are playing on parking out. It's about an hour's drive then to well not even that, maybe a forty minute drive. From where we plan on parking out to our uh, delivery. Um, I've spoken to a client, they've requested us not to film inside the premises. We can, we can record the reverse, but we can't record the unload um, as it's a security breach. Apparently. I, I don't know, but anyway, they've, they've requested us not to film in, apart from the reversing parts and stuff. I said, that's absolutely fine, it's just the unload, which is fair enough. Anyway, I'll be back shortly. Okay, sorry about that, I had to sort something out real quick. Uh, right, so, first task, what is that going to be? Uh, now that I've cleared most of the stuff from behind, the door. Oh, ow. I even borrowed so I'm still hurting. Quite a bit. Um, I'll probably just sit you down with what the plan is. So when we return to our yard in Exeter, um, In short, the plan is I will then switch trucks and speed test every single truck if that's available in the game. I've got about secondary drivers in there. I was thinking, why is the jacket so way down? I mean, here's a winter jacket, technically talking. I really won't need this again this year. But, yeah, I just have it in the uh, truck, so I thought I might as well keep it for just in case we do need it for when we're in Sweden. Because you never know when you don't need that sort of thing. Especially if you get random snowstorms in April. Which are completely off the radar. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. And I'll talk to you all in a bit. Oh, there's nice, something. I'm not sure what. A14. <laughs> right, let's do some polishing. Well, first of all, I'm going to clean the desk really well. Um, using antibacterial wipes. Because I'm not sure the last time I've given it a really thorough clean. And then I'll give it a decent polish. I'm going right in your way. I'm trying to do it as a POV. Yeah, it's not enough for. I need to yank the whole bag. 
I'm still quite sore from my accident, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting better, so that's the important thing. I got off some of markings off the back wall. Mm, crumbs. And for anyone asks them, no, I'm not kneeling down because if I kneel down, I won't be able to get back up again. Just to give you an idea of how painful it is. How painful my knee is. Right. Let me try and take you guys up. Right, guys, give me a moment. Right, sorry, guys. If that's making you feel dizzy at all. Right, guys, I'm trying not to jiggle the camera. So oh, this is so much better now, I don't know how well it's picking up on the camera. Wow, that was so much nicer. Right, time for the part I am dreading. Right. I'll check that out. Okay, achievement unlocked. I successfully managed to film upside down. Um, yeah, so this is looking so much nicer now. I've let it soak in for a few minutes. Right, time for the part I am dreading. I'm going to have to get on my back, get under here and wire up a cable from behind. Let's see how well this goes. If anyone's good at catching, you might need to help there. <laughs> if you're able to catch on a computer. <laughs> Alright, pop that there. Move that thread in. And don't try this another way. Which I haven't actually ever thought of doing. That, oh, that hurt. Sorry, I was running the move again. What I do need is like a little fan extractor hole. That really, that really hurt my hand. Um, if you don't know what happened, I had a bit of a mic accident. I, uh, oh, when was it? Last Friday. And uh, yeah, I caught my hand on the. Uh, Accelerator. Oh, sorry, guys. All right, I got that 
I've got the battery stand says on charge for my red LEDs. Right, let me get this cleaned up a bit. Well, as best I can the cab area, the uh, cab area that, that is. wondering why I've polished first. Uh, simple reason being is that the polish makes it slippery. So it's almost like ice effectively. So once I've polished it I've got to take it off pretty much straight away. But it is what it is. There's still a little bit left on this. So uh, yeah I'll use that to dry it and give it a little bit of a shine but obviously not a big enough shine that it makes it too slippery and dangerous to use same with the pedals i don't tend to ever put polish in pedals because it will just make it really slippery and uh could cause me to stall the track or even worse um suddenly stop because my feet have be on in uh, full control. So I don't really want either of those scenarios to be fair. The I don't really care about because I only need two fingers. Fine. And so really painful. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, slowly getting there now. Just up my chair to clean out really thoroughly. Um, I'll both give it an anti back wipe and a hoover. Give away around, I don't know yet. Well, I'll give it a hoover first. It'll probably be easier, make more sense. So, what I'll do is I'll recline it all the way back. Then that way I can get into all the gaps. So it's a two part hoover, so I'll give it a quick basic and then a deeper clean. Okay, 
today. I'm gonna have to go put some shorts on because my knee feels like it's burning now and it hurts badly. So I don't normally wear shorts, but I've got some with me. So I'm gonna put some on. I'll be back in just a moment. You know what guys, I'm gonna stop and have a break. Um, my knees are burning a bit too much, so I'll talk to you all in a bit. Okay guys, you join me about 40 minutes later. I had to uh, take quite a long break because I slipped, caught my hand on an old scar, scab even, and uh, yeah, it shot my knee pain up through the roof. So uh, yeah, I had to stop because my knee felt like it was on fire again. Which is never a brilliant feeling. Um, anyway, what have I got done since I last spoke to you all? Nothing. <laughs> is the honest answer? I've just been lying down in pain. But, yeah, we, we, I mean, it's just to try and crack on now. Just work through the pain as best I can. I know it's a really stupid idea, but... So I think sitting down, so I'm just have to back on my way. There you are, it's doing so much look more brighter in here now that I've polished up a couple of spots in which the light can reflect off. You really won't realise that until you realise, until you see my hell, unless you know me, because I do search long hours and stuff. Especially when it takes for us to run road and you end up running until 11 o'clock at night. Well, 9, 10 o'clock at night. That's when you realise that actually having some reflective surfaces really does help reflect the light. A lot more than other times. So, it's what it is, but I enjoy it. I'm really thinking I'm mad just cleaning every time I'm off. I don't clean every time I'm off. It seems like it, but um, I'm only organising up some parts that need it. You know, it looks like I'm in the whole room. I'm like, um, by my desk, which I knew would need to clean. Everywhere, everywhere else around my desk, I've left for it. Apart from organising some paperwork, but that's more of a other thing. Yeah, other stuff. Effectively. So, I might have to take all the pens as well at some point because I've got loads everywhere and some work and some don't work. Oh, I have two of these, I don't know where the other one's disappeared to. But I'll keep that for just in case I need to put it back on. Um, Alright, don't plug in the work sign. Yes, yeah, so I have my microphone with me still, believe it or not. I just had to use it the other day because, uh, to try and read a client because I had no idea where the client was and it was so far off the beaten track to find this collection that it took us about an hour just to find it and it was a painful hour. So, I didn't film that job because it was only a local job um well, about a month ago now it was in southampton no Southampton? yeah no where was it feeling it so yeah i took most of a day to uh do anyway i'll get back to you guys in a bit right i'm back again 
Um, just had to sort a few bits out. See, so I rub off or rub in the rest of this polish. But you see, it's coming up through. Yeah, it's no point in me showing content of me trying to sort stuff out, which you can't even see. So yeah, it's just it some paperwork bits that are blowing everywhere, so, um, out of view of the camera, unfortunately, you know, it's went everywhere. Hopefully it's stuff I didn't, but uh, wasn't that uh, serious, put it that way. But, yeah, I had to deal with it. <laughs> Set that fully charge. Power packs, these things are very dead useful. I'll leave a link in the description to, to one. Uh, to my one, it's PMY. Fantastic quality. And it, for me, I can get two full charges out of it. At a push, I can possibly get three, but I can at least get at least two charges and uh useful thing about it it's got usb and you can charge it as well there so both from this thing if i if when i'm driving along sometimes and i've got the camera angle uh, I'll, I'll show you so, so from this side or here then what i can do is i can plug the power pack into here plug the camera in from the power pack, so then both the camera and the power pack are both charging at the exact same time. Which is one one thing I learned the hard way. It um I actually had the camera die on me. Um midway on a job. And uh yeah that was Slightly annoying, but hi ho. You live and you learn again at the end of the day. And uh, I'll just show you how you can get the charge. I'll just plug my MP3 player in for my Walkman. You can see here uh, four blue dots. Uh, as soon as you get down to one blue dot, it will start flashing. But look, you can tell it's charging now. Um, obviously if it's not charging and you don't see any dots, then it's either dead or the charger is faulty or the actual power pack doesn't work for, for whatever reason. So, yeah, I've, I've put it to the test several times and you, you can get several charges out of it, but not all the time. Most of the time you can, but sometimes it's just better. So one thing to do at a point where you can safely plug it in. Like if I have to, I'll plug it into the mains as well. So then that way what I can then do is overnight I can charge both the power pack and the... Uh, and my mobile at the same time which is very, very useful. today's video i'm in pain i'm in call it a day if you've enjoyed today's video give me a big thumbs up any comments queries or concerns let me know in the comment section below till next time guys keep safe see you on the next one bye